one of the nice things about pan fishing is that you don't have to spend a lot of money. A lot of sporting goods stores have uh, rod and reel combos for as little as twenty dollars, and they're nothing special, but they're they work fine for for fishing for pan fish. But if you're even more frugal than that, you can actually catch a fish uh, without a rod and reel. You can just use a long stick, or like I'm going to show you this morning, you can even use a pop can. First, I need to get the proper amount of fishing line. I have some four pound test here that I'm going to use and I'd like to get about 12 feet so what I'm going to do is just measure by stretching out my arms one to each side and just um, get about three times that length and that should be about right for what I want to do today Now I'm going to tie the end of the line to the tab of the pop can and I'll probably use a an improved clinch knot to do that but it doesn't really matter what knot you use here. Okay now I have it tied on. Now I'm going to take the line and put it straight back toward the back of the can and I'm going to hold it there and I'm going to use a piece of packing tape to make sure it stays there. I'm just going to wrap the tape around the can now I'm going to take the line and wrap it around the can and I'm going to put all of it on there except for just enough on the end to put my tackle on. Alright, I think we're all set. I have my normal panfish tackle on here which includes a bobber and then a split shot sinker and a snap swivel and finally a hook with a European night crawler. There's one. Got a little rock bass. Not too bad for a pop can rig. Another rock bass. 